All right, so this is the uh, update on the Jones and Chipman 1300 that we've recently sold. Uh, as you see here, I've got it opened up, and I'm going to start this up. Don't be alarmed by all the oil that comes pouring out of it. Number one, I've got uh, it mixed with mineral spirits, so it's very thin. And that's just the way these machines work. When the cover is on and sealed, all that oil will remain inside the machine. So right now, if I start the table moving, this portion of it works fine. Okay, we can slow this down, and it reverses. And each time it reverses, it, it actuates that picker right there, which if the wheel was here, the hand wheel, it has teeth that would be moving the hand wheel around. So that's what you want to see it do in this mode of operation, the traverse grinding. When we want to shut the traverse grinding off, you're turning on the continuous or the plunge feed, you turn this clockwise, and you see how that pulls it in, but it's supposed to go in and out, in and out. It should be ratcheting in and out right now like a machine gun. It should be doing something like this. And that's how it gets that movement. The table gets its movement, the traverse gets its movement through this linkage here, which pulls it back and forth. But this has to work hydraulically. Right now it's off, and when I start this, it's actually this bar here going across that's pulling on this, this lever there. When you shut off the table and start the continuous infeed, this is supposed to go in and out, in and out, in and out. This is supposed to control the uh, uh, frequency. And this, like anything else, actually controls the stroke of it by moving this in and out. So right now, uh, this thing is jammed up inside for some reason. Now it's not even moving. But that's the problem. This, there it goes. This thing needs to come apart so that when I flip this clockwise, this is going to go in and out, in and out, in and out. Something inside of it is not allowing it to cycle the way it's supposed to. And the only way to service this now is to remove this whole unit here and see if we can find the problem. Or if we find a problem that we can't fix, hope that we have another machine here uh, that we can get the part from. So that's the story. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much.